So in this video, I'll demonstrate how to solve linear systems of equations with um, your calculator using matrices. Um, this method saves lots and lots of time. Um, I'm making this video specifically for the circuits applications because you just end up with lots and lots of equations that you smash together. Um, but this, you can use this method for anything that uses linear systems of equations. Um, so first of all, I need some equation examples. Uh, I'm going to use the equations from the previous uh, mesh analysis video. So uh, this particular set of equ uh, equations has two variables and two equations. Um, so it's a good starting point on demonstrating how to um, use matrices to solve these. So these are our two equations. We have I1 and I2 as our variables. Um, so the way we do this is we want to write these in a way so that we line up the variables and we want to end up with the form ai1 plus bi2 equals c di1 plus ei2 equals f and a, b, c, d, e, f are all just random numbers that we would get from rearranging the equations. So we can do that. So let's rearrange the first equation first. So um, I see this 12 is the only um, constant that isn't coupled to a variable. So I'll just leave it on the on the left side um, because I just like positive numbers. So we can move the rest to the other side. So negative 1.5 I1 becomes positive 1.5 and then plus 1 I1 is equal to 2.5 I1 and then this I2 it was positive on the left side because the negatives cancel so it would be minus I2 on the right side so that's our first equation then we can rearrange this one um, in this case 12 is on the left side so I'll move it to the right. So 12 equals, um, so we have I1, I1 is by itself, and then we have negative 2.5 I2. So these are our two equations that we will use to make our matrices. So how do we make our matrices? Um, it's pretty easy. So the first matrix, matrix that we make is our um, coefficient matrix. So it will be a 2 by 2. So all we we're doing is taking the coefficients of I1 and I2 in both matrices. We want, I, I like this um, form because it makes it really easy to see how our matrix should end up looking. So our coefficient matrix, first um, I'll do the top row, it'd be 2.5 and negative 1. Um, I didn't write the 1 because it's just itself multiplied by 1. So 2.5 and negative 1. And then on the bottom, it'd be 1 and negative 2.5. So this is our first matrix. Um, our second matrix will be the left side, the uncoupled constants. So it'd be 12 and 12 in this case. So let me clear off some room. So after you have these matrices, it's really easy to solve it now. So now that we have our two matrices, the way we want to write it, um, we can set up an equation. So our equation is our coefficient matrix right here. The inverse of this matrix multiplied by our uncoupled constants matrix. What will this give us? This will give us another matrix that is I1 and I2. So if we plug this into our calculator, out pops this I1 and I2 matrix um, that has our variables neat, nice, lined up nice and neatly. So it's very, very convenient. So how do we uh, put this into our calculator? So I use a TI-84 plus calculator. Um, this method should be the exact same for the TI-83. 
you have a TI-89, one of those titanium ones, um, you actually already have a built-in linear equation solver, a system solver. Um, it, I'm guessing it uses the same method using matrices, but it just does it all for you. Um, but if you, you're poor and you have a TI-84 TI or 83, then you use this method. Um, so what you do is um, you press second and then above the X inverse button, you should see matrix. Um, so that's why you do second uh, matrix. So after you get into the matrix window, you should see um, a list of like matrix A, matrix B, blah, blah, blah. So the if you've never done this before, they would be empty. So you want to um, use the side buttons to scroll over to edit, right, edit. And then you want to click on whatever one of the matrices. So I usually just set this first matrix as my coefficient matrix. Um, in this case, it would be a two by two. So make it a two by two and input your values. And then you would make a two by one matrix for um, your second matrix. And then uh, when you have them made, you can just um, exit to the normal command window and then you can just do, um, in this case, if I used matrix A and B, I would just go back to the matrix, um, press enter on matrix A to put it on our com my command window. Do matrix A inverse times matrix B. And then um, our I1, I2 matrix should pop right out. So um, this would save lots, this, site, this does save lots and lots of time. Um, Doing this method uh, like two or three times uh, is pretty easy to memorize. So I highly recommend learning how to do this if you don't know how to do this already. Uh, so that's it.